let's just relax the rules around maths because it would help recruit teachers. It would help. And, you know, if, uh, for maths-based subjects, so for science, primary education and for maths, you absolutely need to have it. But if you've got teachers out there that are passionate, that they care about the students... So history, they the want energy. to teach history? Yeah, if you're teaching history, teaching languages, you're teaching a PE, there are so many passionate... Yeah. Great teachers or drama. Out there. Yeah, you know, that, yeah, that have got the energy and can do what's best for kids. In my mind, it's always what's best for students. You see, I think he's completely right. Mm. I, and well, I, 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 com on, say, I completely disagree with you because your argument mm -hmm. for saying that yes, teachers should have a maths GCSE yeah. is purely technical. It's got nothing to do with their ability to teach or to infuse. But I think what you're doing is actually you're devaluing the teaching profession because teaching, like being a doctor, being a lawyer, is a profession. Professions are not easy to get into, and having a maths GCSE is not an easy thing. Again, yeah. I'm asking for a grade four, not a grade nine. But I think teachers need to but set you that don't society need it to teach. You but haven't then, made the argument. But then, that but it's you. You could say you don't need any qualifications. You can get anyone off the street to say, ah, I like working with young people, I'll be a teacher. Of course, you need that sort of enthusiasm to work with young people, but you also need people with qualifications.